Ladies and gentlemen, it's pretzel time. Soft, chewy pretzel time. I think we can all agree that the world would be a better place if it had more pretzels in it. You won't believe how easy these are to put together. Just a few ingredients and a little bit of patience, I promise you they will be worth every bit of effort. So the first step in making these soft, delicious, chewy pretzels is to actually activate some yeast. So we're starting with a cup and a half of warm water. Now your water needs to be between 110 and 115 degrees for it to activate. So be sure to use a thermometer to measure the temperature of your water. Once your water is at the right temperature, you're going to add one tablespoon of sugar and then a full teaspoon of kosher salt. We're gonna give it a stir to dissolve it and then we're gonna add our yeast. This is one packet of yeast. We're gonna give this about five minutes to get all activated and excited, and then we'll continue making our dough. You're actually not gonna believe how easy this dough is to put together. Once your yeast is activated, you're literally just going to add it to the bowl of your stand mixer. I have mine outfitted with a dough hook. Then you're gonna add a quarter cup of melted butter, four cups of flour, and let the stand mixer do its work. Basically, we're gonna turn the stand mixer on low to get everything incorporated, and then to about four or five to let it knead the dough. If you don't have a stand mixer, don't sweat it. You can definitely do this by hand. Just use a wooden spoon and a big mixing bowl to mix all your ingredients together, and then knead it by hand for about five minutes until the dough is smooth and elastic and easy to work with. So after five minutes, our stand mixer has done almost all the work for us. Thank you, stand mixer. We're just gonna prepare a bowl for this guy. Grease a mixing bowl liberally. Look at this, it's come together perfectly. It's really gorgeous and elastic. Get it greased on all sides, cover it with a tea towel, and let it rise for about an hour. Once it's risen, we'll be ready to form our pretzels. <laughs> so excited. Our dough is ready. It has doubled in size, and we're going to divide it into eight equal parts and then roll out our pretzels. Once you have your dough divided, you're just gonna start sort of working it through with your hands. You really wanna roll from the middle out, so you're making sure you get as much length as possible on your pretzels. What we're aiming for is about 18 to 20 inches of rope. Take one end of your pretzel, bring it over and in, and then sort of pinch down the sides to make it stick to itself, so you form this gorgeous little pretzel shape. This project really couldn't be easier. It's sort of amazing because for minimal work, the results are astonishing. So I have a deep pot and I've added about eight or 10 cups of water. As you can see, it has come to a rolling boil. To that, I'm adding about a half a cup of baking soda. Be prepared, it go it's going to get a little excited when this happens. Basically what we're doing is creating sort of a hot tub for our pretzels. We're going to soak them in this hot tub for about 30 seconds each. This sort of helps them with the cooking process and make sure that they get nice and brown. Now it's time to do our egg wash. Now basically all I've done is added a tablespoon or two of water and one egg yolk. We're just gonna mix this up a little bit and this is going to be enough wash for all eight of our beautiful pretzels. We're going to top them with some delicious kosher salt. And in the oven they go at 450 for about eight to 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. Once they're golden brown, pop them out and they are ready to eat. About halfway through your baking time, you should swap out your baking sheets to make sure that your pretzels are cooking evenly all the way around and they're all going to get nice and golden brown and delicious. Look at these guys. Do those look good enough to eat or what? I love that they've even like developed little cracks because they just couldn't contain all their deliciousness. So we're gonna let these guys cool for about five minutes and then they're going to be ready to eat. The sooner you eat them, the more delicious they are going to be. Now you could use marinara sauce for dipping, you could use some sort of ranch dressing, but I love a little melted butter and garlic powder. Totally to die for. If you are gonna store these, put them in a paper bag and eat them within the day. They're best when they are fresh.
And be sure to check out my channel for three more delicious ways to eat pretzels, including a pepperoni pizza pretzel bite, a jalapeno cheddar and bacon pretzel bite, and a chocolate peanut butter pretzel bite. Yeah, you heard it. Definitely click and catch the video. It's going to be unbelievably delicious. And definitely be sure to subscribe to my new channel for all sorts of delicious recipes just like this. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your pretzels. I know I will.